Next up, the Car Buyer Advisor, your first place to turn for everything automotive. Taking a stand for consumer education and dedicated to connecting you with the industry's finest automotive products, services, and advice. And now, please welcome the Car Buyer Advisor. Is your interior looking tired? Is your side bolster on your seat bottom torn or worn out? Have your seams split? Would you have preferred leather interior? Or would you have rather have had cloth? Have you always loved sheepskins? Have you looked at seat covers in the past but un been unimpressed on how they fit? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you'll be happy we invited our next guest back. They have it all, and did I mention, at a fraction of the cost that you might imagine. Not just top in their respective field in the automotive industry, but one of the finest businesses you will ever find. 26 years in Reno. Now, the name Motor Sheep of Reno suggests correctly they carry sheepskins, but their web address more accurately defines what they really do, carseatcoversreno.com. That's, again, carseatcoversreno.com. Now, just about every imaginable ma material and uh, seat configuration and custom-made seat covers, too. Here to, to discuss them all in detail, please welcome Art Dobb, owner of Motor Sheep Reno. Art, welcome back. Thanks, Mitch. It's good to be back. Now, I, I have a few 24 hours in the business, and yet when I went through all of your seat cover options, I was just shocked. Uh, you carried patterns that I wasn't even aware existed in seat covers, never seen before. You know, with the economy the way it is, uh, it's caused a lot of people to keep their cars longer. Um, and I, th I think after we discuss some of the patterns you carry, uh, some people will just... Uh, you know, make want to make their car more special and unique, uh, but uh, we have a ton of to, of of to cover. So I'd like to get started. And the first thing is, I'd like you to talk about the seat types that you can cover because that kind of surprised me. You you can custom fit both passenger and commercial vehicles. Please elaborate on that. Uh, that's true. We uh, we have patterns for almost every car out there. Uh, most of the European cars, uh, most of the uh, Asian cars, and uh, American cars. And we also do a lot of uh, trucks and SUVs and uh, the big commercial trucks uh, like the Internationals, the Peterbilt, uh, and, and the seat of vehicles. And the seat styles that you can fit, because that one actually surprised me, because there's so many different shaped seats. Uh, so talk a little bit about all of the different uh, combinations of seat types that you can accommodate. Uh, well, in the trucks and SUVs, uh, the most common seats in those today are the, are the 40, 20, 40 split, where the, it has the two outside bucket type seats, and then it has a center section where a third person could set. It also doubles as a console and our seat covers uh, cover both the two outside seats and the center sections. And then um, there's, of course, bench seats. There's 40-60 split bench seats. There's the uh, sport seats in, in um, some of the sportier cars that have the very large side bolsters, and some of them have adjustable thigh supports that move in and out. And uh, our seat covers will accommodate all those different kinds of combinations. Well, and then uh, you mentioned as well that, that you, you've got the seats with the armrests on them or seat belts coming out of the seats and power controls on the sides, and uh, you have provisions for those as well? That's true. And uh, most of the newer cars all have side airbags in the seats also, so... When you put a seat cover on a, a seat like that, you definitely have to take into account the airbag so that it'll work properly in the event it's ever needed. And you actually make custom provisions to the ones that come if they're necessary, if there's a, something that's unique to their seat that you can still accommodate that. That's correct, yep. And f custom fit them as well. Uh, that's true. All, all of our uh, seat covers, uh, we do the installations on. And that's included in the price, uh, the installation. Well, and another thing is, is you know, you talked a lot about the split benches, and, and those are common in your trucks and SUVs. But uh, what impressed me too is that there's a, then you get into the sport seats and the different headrest styles and shapes, and 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 arched lumbar supports and side wing seats. And uh, tell us about some of those that you can fit. The various seats. One of the the things when you mentioned headrests, it it reminds me that. Uh, some people, or, or quite a few people now, uh, especially in SUVs, they are 
putting the built-in screens into the uh, back of the headrest, and so uh, they can entertain the kids with uh, videos, and um, and so we we can make accommodations for those too, where the headrest is still covered, but the the screen is still uh, available to to look at. And, uh, you know, so we talked about, you know, the very seat designs. And, I, I, you know, you even told me that you've uh, fitted exotic cars and uh, Ferraris and, uh, and, and whatnot, right? Uh, that's correct. Yep. Uh, so let's talk about some of the vehicle makes uh, that you can fit as well. Uh, pretty much the, the complete line of uh, most of the vehicles out there, the, the Hondas, the Toyotas, the Hondas, um, the Mazdas, the BMWs, Mercedes, Audis, um, Volvos, and then uh, most of the American vehicles, uh, the Chevys, the Fords, um, and even the older older cars that are, are no longer uh, being made, uh, Oldsmobiles and the Pontiacs. And That's what I was going to ask. You go really far back in those makes and models, uh, too, as far as years. Uh, that's correct. I mean, I, I think I, when I asked you this, if you've ever really been stumped on a car that you couldn't accommodate, and uh, you said the probability was less than one-tenth of one percent. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rare when we get stumped because uh, we can usually come up with something for almost anything. So the product lineup, Art, that really uh, took me by surprise. Uh, there were, you know, so many different options here. So let's get to some of the different things that they can do that, you know, like I said in your in, in the introduction is that people hear motor sheep of Reno, they think sheep skins. Uh, but you uh, do a lot more than sheep skins. So let's start with your genuine leather seat covers. And are, they're, they're high quality leather too. I mean, this is not a, a low grade uh, interior and you have a multiple color choices. What are they? Uh, they uh, most of our colors that we have we have six different colors in the real leather and uh, it pretty much matches the colors that are in most of the uh, interiors uh, of the cars. Uh, there's several different tans. Uh, there's black, several different grays, um, and blue. Um, now, I th- are people shocked when they find out how affordable they are? Uh, yeah, because if uh, anybody's ever checked out what it costs to have real leather uh, totally reupholstered, uh, it, our prices are, are much less, and uh, st- they still look really great. Well, and if you wouldn't mind, uh, would you share you know what it costs to do with a couple of front seats in a car with them? Uh, we can do uh, real leather, uh, the two front seats, including uh, headrests, and if there are armrests, or even the 40-20-40 split uh, truck, uh, it would include both seats and the whole center section and the headrest and everything, uh, all, all for less than $500. Well, and you can't go to an upholstery shop for that kind of money. And then one of the things that really uh, took me by surprise, too, is that, uh, you know, there's a lot of people with, that may not need even the entire front done, that they're just trying to repair a seat bottom on the driver's seat, for an example, and, and you can break it down by the panel? Uh, that's correct, because uh, the seat covers are made uh, separately. The, the bottoms are totally separate from the top. And uh, if somebody has just worn out their uh, driver's side bottom, which is a very common uh, occurrence, uh, we can get them just a, a driver's side bottom only. Um, you know, now more rugged than, uh, but just as attractive as the leather. You have a variety of simulated leather or vinyl seat covers too, and, and this one really surprised me. Uh, they they were not only just uh, really inexpensive compared to having an upholstery shop redo your interior, but and and if you can imagine, they're even less than the, the leather ones. But they come in some really beautiful colors and patterns. And uh, you shared uh, with me a, a, a story about a customer that brought in an FJ Cruiser to you and asked you to install one of the patterns. Uh, when when you were done, you told me you were like uh, amazed how beautiful it looked in that vehicle. What pattern did they cho- choose, and what other patterns and colors can you provide in those? Uh, well, this particular uh, FJ Toyota Cruiser was one of the older models, and uh, the ones that you, uh, when you see them, you think of a safari in Africa. And uh, we have some exotic leatherette, uh, including alligator, ostrich, uh, snakeskin, and carbon fiber. And this gentleman chose to go with uh, black ostrich uh, for his uh, FJ Cruiser in uh it just fit the vehicle really well because of the the safari nature. Uh, when you see one of those, and uh, the ostrich uh, seat covers look really good in there. 
Well, and you have uh, material for just about uh, every application because different people use their vehicles for different uh, reasons. What material would be most appropriate for, say, for someone with animals, young kids, or active in outdoor water sports? When anybody comes in and they're looking for protection and they mention kids or dogs or, or as you say, water sports, we have a, a waterproof nylon Endura seat cover that's very rugged and uh, totally waterproof, and it comes in, a, in a, a large number of colors, like 12 different colors, plus like three different uh, camouflage uh, patterns. And uh, for the hunters that, that, are, uh, that use their vehicle for hunting and they're, say they're a duck hunter and they're, um, you know, they have their waders on and they're wet and muddy and uh, these covers are perfect for that kind of a situation. Well, and you mentioned water skiers or people that are just, you know, active in water sports at the lakes. You know, you get back into it and, and it, it's a waterproof or water repellent uh, material. Uh, That's correct. Well, and then on the other side of that, uh, you offer uh, some microfiber uh, seat covers as well. I mean, this is just how deep the the options are for our listeners to be able to, uh, you know, uh, recreate their interior and make uh, their car more uh, beautiful. But let's talk about some of the microfibers. I think people are pretty familiar with those with the couches that are made out of those these days. Right. If anybody's been shopping lately for furniture, you, you uh, notice in the furniture stores there's a lot of microfiber suede uh, couches and chairs. And, and the reason they're using that is it, it's very rugged material, plus it's easy to clean up. And uh, we do seat covers in the microfiber suede, and it, it's a really attractive look. Uh, very comfortable to set on and, and a, a very good looking uh, seat cover. And it also comes in a variety of colors. and you can do a solid, one solid color, or you can do a two-tone where you have the insert a different color than the outside. And, uh, you know, the, the microfiber, to me, you're right, it it's, doesn't just feel good. It, it's soft and comfortable to the hands, and it breathes really well, too. So it's a great uh, interior to have in a vehicle, I would think. It is, yep. Now, let's not forget the fabric that resembles velour. I mean, we're talking about the type of material most manufacturers install uh, as standard equipment on most trucks and SUVs. You have a line of those as well. Uh, that's correct, yeah. The velour that we carry is uh, actual automotive upholstery material, so it's, it's a good heavy material. It wears really well. It, it looks good. And uh, we, we do see covers in, the, in that material also that. That and our uh, nylon and dura are probably the two most popular materials that we sell. Well, and uh, you showed me last time I visited your shop, uh, you talked, uh, and I didn't even know this, uh, just by accident I found this out, that uh, you get into the commercial vehicles, like you mentioned the uh, internationals and the, and the big rigs and, and some of the uh, uh, work trucks for uh, large corporations, and, and you do custom fittings for these too, I understand, right? That's correct. A lot of the... Uh the big work trucks and stuff, uh, they, they choose a saddle blanket material. Uh, it's a, a real heavy uh, material. We custom make those in our store. And so no matter what seat styles in the vehicle, we can make it because we can pattern right off the seat. Uh, we have a lot of the patterns already, but uh, if somebody brings something in that we don't have a pattern for, we, we can uh, actually pattern right off the seat and make the cover and everything fits really well. Well, and, and I don't want to forget to cover this, excuse the pun, uh, but sheepskins. Um, your best, one of your best-selling lines, too, and uh, I didn't want to skip it. Uh, you just the uh, plethora of options that you have on top of that was really amazing to me. Um, but uh, you helped educate me last time I was there on the various quality grades of sheepskins. And uh, please begin with the uh, ranges in their quality between what you carry and what they may find in a box somewhere. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize uh, sheep uh, being a uh, an animal, uh, the quality of the pelts vary. Uh, it's kind of like people. If you rub everybody, if you went around and rub rub people's heads, uh, some people have thick hair, some people have thinner hair, uh, and sheep are the same way. And there, there's actually ten different grades of sheepskin. And the, what makes the difference is the better the grade, the denser and thicker the sheepskin. 
And um, the sheepskin we carry is is a really good grade, uh, nice dense sheepskin. Oh, there's no doubt about that. And there's also different, um, like you said, some people have straight hair and some people have curly hair. So there's even some different uh, the feels to the, the sheepskins as well. That's correct. Yeah, in, a, in our custom line, uh, people have a choice between straight and curly. And some people, you know, they like a lot of things. There's uh, People have different preferences. Uh, they like the looks of the curly or they like the looks of the straight, but they, uh, they do have a choice. Well, uh, you know, when I, again, when I stopped in last time, I was just completely blown away. Uh, what, uh, what should they know about sheepskins before they set out to buy them? Uh, the the thing about sheepskin is uh, it's probably the most comfortable product to set on, and the reason for that is when you set on real sheepskin, it doesn't mash flat, and it allows air to circulate. The other great thing about sheepskin is it stays real neutral in temperature, so in a really cold winter morning, it's not going to feel cold, and on a really hot summer day, it's not going to feel hot. And uh, please share with them uh, how they can get a hold of you and where you're located. All right. We are in the Smithridge Shopping Center, and that uh, the big store in there is the Toys R Us store. It's on the corner of South Virginia and South McCarran. There's a Chili's restaurant right on that corner, and we are right behind Chili's restaurant. And for some of the parents, they may know Chuck E. Cheese in that same plaza, so we'll make sure that they know where to find you. Uh, that's Art Dobb, Motor Sheep of Reno, one of the finest businesses in our community, and we're so proud to have you on our show as a regular guest. Thank you, Art. Have a